Hey there hikers, Adam Hoyt here. Welcome back to the channel. For today's hike, I really decided to crank that scenic dial all the way up to 11 when I pulled us a hike from the 52 with the View New Hampshire hiking list. For today's hike, we're going to be checking out Rogers Ledge. But hey, why are we still sitting here? Let's go get hiking.
me. Oh, gosh. He's good. A little bit. <laughs> well, it actually doesn't look that where we are. Not that high. No, no, the trees are just right there. Yeah, just right there. 27,000 <laughs> feet tall. 27,000 feet, huh? Which way did you guys come up from? Um, I have no idea. We, uh, we started at the, what is that, the Jefferson Trailhead, went up Lombeck, over Cabot, over the Kilkenny Ridge here, to finish at South Pond. Wow. Yeah. How many, left was, that, was that just one day and one night? Or two or, nights. Two nights, wow. Yeah. First time. <laughs> What'd they do to convince you? Hey, you want to go backpacking? Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, we bought you a backpack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So which one was the mountain you climbed? We came, you can't see it because of the Raiders Ridge right here, but almost So it's like you come over the ridge and then you came around this way? Yeah. yeah. This, this, the whole loop that we did kind of doesn't have to turn. Hey, you guys want to wait. Yeah, I think uh, we're like 23 miles in right now, 24 miles in, yeah, something like that. How many miles we've hiked so far? Oh. <laughs> A lot. Welcome back everyone. That was Rogers Ledge. Quite the view we had there at the at the summit if you want to call it a summit. It was I guess it was just a cliff. But what a what a nice view we had. That foliage, oh my gosh. I had to look at my pictures afterwards and I literally could not believe it was as pretty as it was. And I was there. I was freaking there. It definitely lived up to uh, the reputation it gets for being on the 52 with a view hiking list for sure. So to get to Rogers Ledge for the most part you follow the Kilkenny Ridge Trail and that trail starts off in the South Pond Recreation Area. I didn't really include that in this video because the, technically the beginning of this trail it shares similarity with the Devil's Hop Yard Trail. So if you see that video Video that I'm linking up above you can see what the beginning of that trail looked like one downside of it being in this park is the thing that I freaking had to experience was that the recreation area was closed that weekend so I added a good extra bit of a mile onto my hike as I just had to walk that mile of the road from the outside of the gate of the park to the trailhead uh, once you get to that trailhead it's very easy to follow you follow the Kilkenny Ridge Trail the entire way it actually it might be a little boring. You just follow it and it is such a long, gradual trail. You just, there's one river you pass near the beginning, you ford that river, and then it's just a nice gradual walk through the woods the entire rest of the way till you get close to the cliff. It is, there's not a lot to even talk about. You just follow along through the trees. Maybe there's a few large rocks here and there, but it is, it's just so gradual. There is one portion where the trail opens up a little bit and that was the one spot where I found it most difficult to follow where the trail was supposed to go. Uh, it's not very well marked in that section but when you come to that part you just stick to the right and you soon find the rest of the blazes and you can continue as you were. Besides that it was just very easy to follow, uh, very straight and there was no no other junctures or really anything besides that and you continue along and you know you're getting near the actual cliff when you the trees start to get a little shorter and it, the trail gets a bit narrower and it, it's a little annoying annoying because uh, they just kept whack whacking my legs all those tiny little trees and branches um, so that's how you know you're getting close to the summit it does get a little bit steeper near that part but I was gonna say it is for the most part very similar gradual if it wasn't so long to get to that point I would say it's a very easy doable hike but it is quite a ways in order to get to the cliff itself. There's two different viewing areas that you can have to view the cliff. There's the main viewing area that has the little summit marker that has, it's a little bit narrow in there at the top, but then there's the larger cliff area where you can walk all the way out and sit on the cliff and get that really good view down the right side 
that goes back towards the North Country um, versus off to the left, you can look down towards Berlin and in the presidential range. It's this larger section where you find the actual sign that says Rogers Ledge, so I guess this section of it must be the actual ledge portion. What I think added to it though was the fact that I went perfectly in the middle of peak and it made it even more beautiful than it otherwise would have been. And once you take in all those summit views, you just turn right back around and you head back towards the Kilkenny Ridge Trail all the way back to where we started at the South Pond. So Rogers Ledge isn't one of those traditional summits that has an elevation, but I can tell you by the hiking that I did that it had basically an 1800 foot elevation gain and that entire out and back that I did was just around eight miles total. A little bit extra, I guess, for myself since I had to do that extra walking on road but if you start from the beginning of the Kilkenny Ridge Trail it's around eight miles round trip to hike all the way out to Rogers Ledge and then come all the way back. Not a lot of notes for this trail just the blazes for the trail on the Kilkenny Ridge Trail are yellow and like I said there was that one portion where the blazes was a little bit lacking when it opened up and I wasn't exactly sure which way to go but uh, I soon found the trail after that but besides that it's very straightforward gradual easy to follow yellow blazes the whole way. And this trail it was not busy at all I was basically for 90% of that entire hike that day I was alone I barely ran into anyone. One good thing of note I guess about this trail is that it, since it is so remote and not a lot of people do it, it's fun to converse with the people you do meet along the way, especially the through hikers and all of the extra trail hiking that they had to do to make it to the same exact ledge. Uh, when you made it there, I always really enjoy conversing with the people I meet along the trail as I'm filming, and especially the through hikers. And hey, a special note for you through hikers when you're getting to Rogers Ledge, don't forget your car keys at the Star King Trailhead. That's a special note really double check that. Uh, there's three special, very special through hikers that know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to that note. So everyone who's through hiking and making it to Rogers Ledge, don't forget those car keys. So the difficulty of this trail, it's really hard to gauge because it, it was so gradual. I barely noticed any elevation gain at all the whole time because it was spread out across such a long part of the trail. So I guess that's where most of the difficulty comes is that it's just at the end of the day, round trip, it is basically eight miles. There you go. Very gradual eight miles, but still eight miles, so I guess I would put that right in the middle of my rating system at a road less travel. Gosh, this one is hard to review. I I actually don't know if I would recommend it. I would recommend it if you're already up in the area, but like going all the way out of your way, I certainly wouldn't say do it at the top of your 52 with a view list. The the trail itself, there was, there was no views the whole way up. It's only once you get to the cliff and pop out that you get those spectacular views. And I feel that my views were really enhanced by the fact that it was literally peak leafs when I was at the top of that ledge. Besides that, the trail itself was not that interesting. It was very long, especially since I had to friggin' include the road, which is not really part of the hike. But if you're already up in the area, I'd recommend you check it out. If you're doing the whole list, do it at some point. I would not skip it to the top of the 52 with a view list if you're trying to complete them all. Well, hey, that's my review. Do you agree, disagree? Should I have recommended this trail? Let me know what you really thought in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on where I should be going next, especially on the 52 with a view list or, or anywhere else in New Hampshire or New England, let me know in those comments down below. If you are inspired to go check out this trail, I of course included a custom all trails map that I made in the description down below, as well as links to all the gear that I use to make this video possible. In the end, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button, smash subscribe, turn on that bell for notifications, all those things down below. That's it for me. I'll catch you in the next one. Do you think we really call it fall simply because the leaves literally fall? Is it that, is it that simple? I miss movie theaters. Ugh. Freaking real tight. <laughs>